good frosty November morning to y'all. Look, I was cutting this order and got the, the thinking. When you got a sawmill, you, you're you trying to figure out every possible way you can to make a few dollars with it. Well, if you're in the, the business of selling wood. If y'all watch the channel a whole lot, or if you're just stopping by, you'll notice on my log loaders right here, I always got cutoffs. Uh, stuff that don't, I guess, uh, add up to what I need. Like I was just cutting 20 foot two by fours and right here I was cutting nine foot two by fours. Bad edges, um, a wavy board, anything like that. I throw it to the side. <clears throat> but what I do with it is if you can see this big pile right here leaned up against the shed, um, it's, saw, it's uh, tomato steaks. And I got up with a local farmer and he needs a lot every year. Last year I cut him five thousand. Um, this year he's gonna said he gonna need between ten and twenty thousand. And so what I do, uh, I make sure he needs them. And as I'm cutting orders, I um, save them, get the cutoffs, and try not to and try not to uh, waste anything. You can see the scraps. That's three logs right there worth of scraps. That's not very wasteful at all. Just pretty much the bark. <clears throat> but that's a that's a tip. Get up with your local feed stores, your local farmers that that does uh, produce that needs some kind of steak, uh, peppers, tomatoes, etc. Um, get up with your hardware stores uh, local contractors they need uh stakes to uh set foundations um your land clears and and people that do house pads they need they need those stakes to do things uh surveyors there, there's there's countless number of, of people that use them uh, and instead of wasting anything at all i mean you either buying your logs or you're spending your time and money to go get them uh, and you're cutting, you're already cutting it, so why waste it? Get the most you can out of every board foot that you cut. Um, there's several different ways to, to make that happen. <clears throat> but that's just one way that I try to maximize the, try to maximize the, the um, I guess, yield from the mill instead of wasting anything. But that's the tip of the day from Riverside, and glad y'all stopped in and Y'all please like and subscribe and y'all come back here.